Okay, here's one of my favorite puzzles of all times. Uh, it's pretty historical. I've seen a lot of references to it. It's called the missing square puzzle. Um, you take out these pieces, these four pieces, or you move the pieces around. And when they're moved around, the question is, how did you create that missing square? So this is a really, really tricky puzzle. Uh, I could not figure it out for the life of me until I had to actually build it. When I started to build it and make it, that's when I realized how this puzzle works. So how is it that all of a sudden you have a space here and then you rearrange the pieces and when the pieces are rearranged, the missing square is gone now. So how is that possible? I'll let you pause the video here for a second if you want to figure it out, and I'll show you the solution. Okay, well here we are with the solution. How this works, here I'll show you the one I made. Here's the one I made right here. And I drew a rectangle that's 13 by 5, and then I draw a diagonal from corner to corner. And this one right here actually does not work. So I'll rearrange these pieces, and you'll see it doesn't work. These won't fit in here. So these don't actually fit in. And the reason why it doesn't work is this is actually not a diagonal from corner to corner. The shape is actually not a triangle but rather a quadrilateral, it's a four-sided figure. And this triangle right here, the larger one, this larger black triangle has a run of eight and a rise of three, and this red one on the top has a, did I say a run of eight, a rise of three, a run of five, and a rise of two in the smaller one. So they are, in fact, non-similar triangles. So these angles are not the same. So you actually have to draw the diagonal in a box as eight by three, and then another diagonal in a box as five by two when you actually build this. And you could actually see it looks a little sloppy, but that gap right there, that slight gap, which is hard to notice, is actually the difference between the extra missing square. So this black triangle is eight by three, this red triangle is five by two, and if you were to find these angles, you could see it would be the arc tangent of three eighths to give you this angle versus the arc tangent of two fifths, and you'll see that um, you know, this is a ratio of 0.4, and this is a ratio of 0.375. So this is gonna be a little bit bigger of an angle. So that's a missing square puzzle.